We are not going to call it smartphone anymore. We are going to call it the Galaxy AI phones that are there. Hello guys, here we are at the Samsung Unpacked event in San Jose, California. And here I have with me Ranjit. So what do you think Ranjit about the S24 Ultra lineup? Ultra, I would say the first thing I notice is the, it's lighter. about here you agree yeah uh, one feature i liked is mm, slow motion when you take the video you don't have to shoot it in slow motion for example we have this dog video you'll simply just hold down with your finger the part that you would like to do slow motion with and then you'll just let go and it'll go back to normal speed so again a lot of ai and i like uh, quite a few things are being done on device instead of every time just going to the cloud so wow. the entire feature is done on device, Galaxy AI. So you won't need any Wi-Fi connection or any kind of telecom connection. So what do you think about the event so far? Did you have a lot of fun today? Entonces, ¿qué piensas del evento hasta ahora? ¿Te has divertido mucho hoy? Sí, muy bien, gracias. Yes, very well, thank you. And uh, one thing I notice is that a lot of glare is there, but it is like reflecting the glare a lot better. I think it, especially in India during summer, yeah, we'll know the true test of it. We'll know that. Yeah. Captured this beautiful image, but you don't like how the reflection looks. Simply with the built in AI, you'll just click on that I button, it'll analyze the photo and give you suggestions on how to enhance the photo. So you'll just erase the reflection right there, and automatically it disappears. And then we have our before and after, and then you would save from there. My name is Raju Pullan, I'm the Senior Vice President for Samsung Mobile Experience. You will have uh, you know, crazy features like the circle to search. Consumer search, you know, circles on an object and then he presses the home key and then he gets to know as to what that is all about. You've got live translate where consumers can speak in any language from any device and if it is a Galaxy S24 series, he is able to get the live translation of whichever language, foreign language, the person on the other side speaks about. You have this beautiful image here, but the shadow is just ruining that perfect image that you would like. Simply with the built-in AI, you'll just press that I button again and it'll give you the suggestions to erase the shadow. Once you press it, it automatically takes it out for you. So here's your before and after. And then you would save from there. And then the last feature, which is my favorite, using generative AI, Say you wanted to see this skater in mid-air, but you took the picture too late. So with generative AI, you would click on the pencil, you would use this Galaxy AI stars, and then you would just outline the skater. It'll capture it for you. Hold down, and you can place him anywhere you'd like. <laughs> you can enlarge him, you can turn him around, you can also get rid of this lamp post if you didn't like it. Just click on that button and the eraser and it deletes it. And then also with the scale, you can also alter the angle. So maybe you want it a little more straighter. Using the generate button, the AI will 
fill in those gaps for you. And it typically takes about 10 seconds for it to generate that data onto the cloud. Yeah, I know, that was pretty cool. There you go. Wow. And so you have your original and after. So I like to use pen, you don't have to. But I'm going to edit it so Right, so here's an example of a conversation going on. So to go right here, click right here. These are going to be your options. So tra translation, let's go say German. Mm -hmm. This one has writing style. So imagine like you're responding uh, to a text message, maybe like a colleague, mm -hmm. uh, a, you know, a friend or something, and then you're debating about what to send. And when you're reading something out loud, like the tone doesn't really maybe sound right. Now you have some options. You have the original message, you have professional response mm -hmm. you can choose, a casual response, uh, hashtag social, a polite, and emojify uh, option as well too. Okay, cool. Now you want to get organized. So you click on these three stars. So this is going to be your main four. Auto format, you can change and get organized where it's going to give you like all the main points. Format. It's going to organize you, make your life more easier. Um, summarize. It's going to summarize. Everything. I usually take a lot of notes, but I never yeah. go back to them because no, it's Yeah, because they're like unusable. scribble, yeah. whatever. Now, just basically one nice. click button, and boom. It gets, and then you can save it as well, too. And also, too, you have the option to click detail summary style. If you click done, and boom, it's all detailed for you. Awesome. So you're saving time and stuff like that. Um, also to uh, translate, it can translate to different languages. Right now it has about 11 uh, options of uh, languages you can do too. So say, what language do you speak? I mean Hindi. Hindi. Alright, so translate it and boom, it's in Hindi right now. And you can also save it too as well. So yeah, this is really useful. It saves the time in a few minutes. So with the Galaxy AI S24 series, it is not market share alone. We are looking at another, another share, which is market share and heart share. And that's the share that we want to, and that's the share that will keep us going. Uh, why do I talk about market share and heart share? When we look back at consumers and when we look back at insights of the consumers, they look at products which deliver them convenience. They look at products that are uh, drive productivity and unleashes the behavior of their behavior of being more creative. And more importantly, and that's what Samsung brings on the table with the Galaxy AI range of phones. I think 2024 is going to be uh, the year of AI. I mean, it started off in 2023 and rightly we are in Silicon Valley yeah. for this launch and right. uh, for the Galaxy uh, S24. And thanks Raju for your time and sharing your insights. Thank you. Uh, pleasure having you. Right. Enjoy the Galaxy AI experience. Sure. Thank thanks. you. Hello everyone, here we are at Santana Row in uh, California in a uh, Tesla store and we just have the Cybertruck inside. So which part of the valley is this? This is uh, San Jose. Yeah. It's San Jose, Santana Row, surrounded by Teslas and everything. So we, this is the first time I am personally seeing a live Cybertruck. I mean it's still barricaded. So yes, part before I forget. He's uh, one of the biggest Tesla fans <laughs> and he used to be riding to, on phone arena a long while back. We've done CES together a couple of times and he's my uh, to-go guide for all things Tesla and we thought why don't we get him to talk about uh, the Tesla story. He owns a model, he drives a Model 3. Yep. Yeah, he used to drive a grey Model 3 or a, and now he drives a red Model 3. Yes. <laughs> and anybody if you're not used to it. And uh, it can read speed signs over here which is really cool. Um, and uh, if I ask for it to change lanes, it's going to change lanes. I'm not doing anything. And you see the car up front is slowing down so the the, the radar here, or not radar, sorry. Uh, the speed is reducing. The camera will automatically see it and uh, reduce the speed. Oh man. Tesla uh, all the way. <laughs> and you might uh, be considering getting a Tesla Model Y next. So let's walk in to the Tesla store and check out uh, the Cybertruck. So 
Behind us is the Tesla Cyber Truck. For the first time, I'm seeing it. Uh, wow, it is quite a sight. It's massive. It is humongous. Yep. Yeah, and it's electric, which is crazy. And it's a. It can be double up. It can double up as a tow truck as well, right? Correct. So yeah. it's crazy, and it's packing a, a lot of cool tech. I've been seeing a lot of these uh, videos of uh, journalists who got to drive it, uh, and it's got a single large windscreen wiper. Which is crazy. Look at just look at the size of the windscreen, guys. It's crazy. So yeah. So what are your thoughts on the Cybertruck? Yeah, Start. I think um, the Cybertruck is an interesting innovation in the automotive and uh, I guess pickup truck uh, industry. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's it's an acquired taste when it comes to design, mm -hmm. but there's a lot also a lot of incredible engineering. Yeah. I mean, for a truck to be able to pull this much power and have this much speed mm -hmm. is unheard of. Um, yeah, and also what's surprising is you've even upgraded the voltage for the interiors and Elon Musk sent out a manual to other <laughs> auto companies out there. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the amount of room on this thing is crazy. I think you can actually use it like a camper van. Correct. <laughs> um, if, you, if you check out the back side, it actually... Let's actually walk yeah. towards the back, yeah? So, so this is the front and that new interesting headlamps or LED light strip and on the side you see the bulletproof this is the bulletproof material or the steel kind of alloy frame they're using developed a special alloy i guess for this and you see this is this actually i think once you if it's unlocked you can actually uh, load uh, the truck i mean it, the truck function kicks in right so yeah so what do you think i i mean i would i, would I buy it Personally, no, because I love driving sedans, but I think if you're a pickup truck person mm -hmm. or if you want to actually have a pickup truck, mm -hmm. I think this will be a really great purchase. But I think I really want to buy this one. This is an ATV. <laughs> <laughs> There's an ATV too. Yeah. Um, so I believe Tesla crazy. was I believe Tesla was supposed to sell this, but then they ran into issues with the batteries because they stopped okay. manufacturing it. Interesting. Yeah. So yeah, so let's I mean this is the other side or the left side of the cyber truck. And uh, yeah, so it's crazy how big this thing is. I mean, it's massive. I mean, I, would you I, get a test drive of this? Oh, sometime? 100%, I'd love a test drive. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think the size of the Cybertruck, it, it, it looks, I guess, relatively small in, on video or, mm -hmm. or in a photo, but when you come in person, it, yeah, it's, it's humongous. Massive, man. Um, oh, man, I'm crazy. not able to get it on a frame. It's like, yeah. <laughs> you know. um, uh, what's also interesting about Cybertruck is, uh, the mirrors are actually removable. Mm -hmm. um, I guess when they wanted to, to have a Cybertruck, they didn't actually really want any side mirrors. The whole idea was like self-autonomy, et cetera. But yeah. because of uh, local laws- Even the, and I think the wheel rims are removable as well. The rim covers are- Yeah. I saw that, a video of somebody yep. ripping it off, yeah. That, that's correct. Yeah. Um, but one thing to call out is, is the exterior of the Cybertruck. Um, not, it's not- uh, flush. <laughs> it's not flush and yeah. it's very prone to fingerprints. So it, well, looks, it looks nice right now, but yeah. over time. Um, That's why it says do not touch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we are at a Tesla supercharger network here. Uh, it's a charging station in Santana Row and Path just charges car from 50% to 100%. Yeah. And as you can see, it's just surrounded by. Tesla's here. So the whole purpose of uh, superchargers uh, from Tesla is to make charging super quick and easy. Mm -hmm. um, if you charge your EV at home, it can take like over eight hours for a full battery, but a supercharger can charge your car in literally an hour or less, depending on how much charge you need to um, put on your car. This is what is a supercharger. That's right there. And yeah, so. Are these also supercharged or this is the plant? Yeah, this is the power, okay. like, this is what generates the power for supercharging. Um, oh, wow. And then they're wiring to different superchargers. How many are these? How many spots are there? Uh, there's over 40 stalls over here. Oh, wow. Yeah. And how much does it cost to charge a car fully from 0 to 100? Yeah, um, each, each supercharger has its own pricing, but oh. on average, it's about 20 to $25. 
for a full charge? For a full charge. And how um, long does it take for a Model 3? For a Model 3 to go from 0 to 100, it takes about um, an hour. Mm -hmm. But if you're, let's say, let's say you only need to charge 50%, mm -hmm. it's not more than like 20 minutes, which and, is great. And then you pay only like half the price, like $10 or something? Yes, correct. Okay. Um, right. And the other great thing about superchargers is they are really made and built in locations, which mm -hmm. is accessible to um, like, like shops or food or restrooms, etc. Mm -hmm. So if you're on a long road trip, um, you never have to worry about finding that when okay. when you're charging. I see a Toyota Prius here as well. <laughs> well, that's the old old technology. <laughs> yeah, really old. Yeah. Which was once seen as innovative. I think the hybrid vehicles. Prius was a rage at one point, right? Yep, Prius was the Silicon Valley Tesla at one point. At one point, I think 2008 <laughs> when I came here for the first time. Yes, I saw all Priuses back then. Yeah, and uh, now I see just Teslas. I mean, in all colors. I, we saw an orange Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like uh, it's crazy over here. People really like customizing their Teslas. Yeah, um, and. I remember when I first got my Tesla here, I was like one of the first few people in the Bay Area to get a Tesla, but now it's like, like you don't even have to look for a Tesla, it's insane. Yeah. So if you can see behind us, one, two, three, four, like everything is just Tesla's here. Oh man, it's crazy. <laughs> I think I see more coming out to park here just for charging. This is actually the largest supercharger in, in San Jose area. Okay. Yeah, what's, what's really great about the superchargers is Tesla's made it incredibly simple to charge. Um, you, all you literally have to do is take your Tesla, plug it in, and it, it's, it starts charging. Um, your, your payment, your, your amount you want to charge is all done via the Tesla app. Nice. Um, if you look at other EV chargers, there's always a setup process and it's, it's very, very uh, difficult for the user to figure out. But um, yeah, Tesla's made it incredibly easy for charging. Nice, so I mean, we are in a scenic spot. Yeah, it's a pretty scenic spot. And uh, yeah, California is special. Can you hear those muscle cars though? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, those pickup trucks. Yep. We did see the cyber truck below, uh, the Tesla showroom. But here we are, the Tesla supercharger here in San Jose and that's part. This is the Boston Dynamics robot. And we're all going crazy around it because it's navigating around the crowds. <laughs> we are at Samsung Research America in Mountain View, Silicon Valley. And Boston Dynamics has a facility right next door and one of the coolest things you see in terms of tech. Let's actually get in front of it. It will actually navigate around. You can see it goes around. Pretty cool, right? So it's going to it's going getting docked to get a quick charge. Must be tired running around. Thank you. 